Hello, wherever you are. Hi. Welcome to the living room. Welcome to the requests. The living room requests. And a special welcome to those who are living, oh, those who are listening on the podcast. Maybe yes. they're also living as well. But living they are listening through on the, the podcast. <laughs> on the new podcast the version of this little show, which is going to be linked below and is very easy to get hold of. He's been busy. And you just need to search for Living Room Requests and uh, you'll find it. So that means we're definitely going to call it Living Room Requests still. At least for a while. At least for a while. And, um, you know, there's some other great news. There's great news afoot. For example, Patricia's Instagram, which is <laughs> at Patricia Hammond Songs, which is now live and kicking and full of all sorts of much. interesting stuff. Not much kicking going on. And The uh, odd one. For those who don't really like Instagram or don't don't use it, you can still sign up for what you might term a good old traditional email <gasps> newsletter, newsletter, which you can find at patriciahammond.com forward slash newsletter. Guess who got that running and up? Anyway, we're going to start with a very interesting request from Stephen. Thank you for so this much. song because I didn't know it existed. And it's it's very interesting. It's a ninety. It's from nineteen forty one. It's called My Sister and I, and it was inspired by the the bestseller, the wartime bestseller called My Sister and I, which was a it was a diary of a, of a Dutch boy, um, which they say probably is not actually genuine, but I mean, if you were really in that situation, it's believable. You. How could you have a, you know, I, I honestly think it shouldn't be held against them that somebody had to sort of speak up, you know, even if it wasn't blah, 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 too much in too much detail. But anyway, it was inspired by the book and it's wonderful and it's heart rending and it's hardly ever done. So thank you for asking for a real rarity, something interesting and something very beautiful. <laughs> Troubled sky We're almost 
lot very in that interesting song. song. Very, very interesting. Thank you, Stephen. Now, Sheila. Sheila has asked of all the songs I thought we might get two requests for. I thought maybe Danny Boy. Oh, right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, no. Um, <laughs> Not all of me. Not all of John me. Legend. To, uh, who? It's the music. Yes, it's right. It's right here. Out of all of the songs that knowing Patricia's voice, repertoire, and leanings, I did not expect this would be one of the double requests. But it's very lyrical. Unlike another one that's coming up later in this very concert, uh, this one is lyrical, and we're going to because we've done it before, um, uh, for Ali. And Taryn and and uh, yeah, it's it's we're gonna do um, and Arabella. Arabella. Yeah, we're going to do another version, aren't we? We're going to this do this here mandolin. For those who are listening, not and can't see it, I've got a a Victorian um, Neapolitan mandolin, like sort of a stereotypical old-fashioned Italian mandolin before me. So basically, he chose the instrument, and then we had to find the, the, the language to go with it. And what do you know? It's good. This song works really well in Italian, in my opinion. See if you agree, see if you disagree. I think it's quite beautiful. It gives it a certain... Um, I quite like it. It's, yeah. Well, there we are. I mean, I like everything, obviously, but uh, I, I think this rendering and combination is particularly effective. Well... <laughs> And um, I'm just going to say that if yeah. you do like any of this, you can always click subscribe if you're not subscribed yes, already. Yes, subscribe. And if you don't like to do that, you can follow the link in the description to join the email. Yes. The mailing list. Mailing list. I promise I won't abuse it. It'll be like newsletter. Once, newsletter. a newsletter once a month to talk about, you know, behind the scenes and what we're doing. And, and, and when these episodes what are coming out. What went into it. Some people Tidbits. don't know when they're coming out, do they? So. That too, that too. So yes. anyway, here we are with here all of me, or it's called uh, Amote. I love you, basically. <laughs> oh, have we got the, the spare sheet for the special moment? Oh, the special moment is right is. here. Thank you. Okay, as long as you got it, that's fine. That's good. What key is this in, anyway? Let's find it. Ooh. That. Why all of a sudden do you care about those sort of things? I don't know. Sometimes I get this. It's in Z octuple flat. Se il mio centro 
solo tu Sei il mio canto e il mio rhythm and blues Non so fermare l'amore E non passerai Sei il suono e parole Che non ho mai E anche se tu something different. Sorry, I kept thinking he was finishing and I, he kept not being finished. Um. <laughs> right, the idea of the Tarantella was not, was not from me. Just, uh, you know, just saying that. It wasn't also from, was it? I think the idea of doing it in Italian was mine though. Was it? Yeah, good. I think that. It wasn't was. from Tony Stevens and John Gadd though, was it? Who Tony wrote, who Stevens, actually wrote that who actually wrote the song. Mm. I know, I, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, look, we took inspiration. That's right, that's right. And we made it different. When this is uploaded to YouTube, if it's recognised, we will dutifully Sorry. share all of the rights with their South American licensee. <laughs> yes, you should see the copyright claims we get when we put these up. It's, it's always from Brazil first. Interesting. Right. Time for another interpretation was, so, of the music of the older world. Sheila and then Ali, Clara, Bella and Taryn for the previous one. <laughs> We've surely had John Legend time on this. Who's uh, Now, whose song are we oh, going yes. to play? First of all. This is for Suzanne. This is When I Am Laid in Earth. It is a classic. What do you call that? Um, it is core repertoire for mezzos. Um, mm. I've been in two productions of Dido, not playing Dido in either of them, but playing paycheck receiver. So, you know, that's the main thing. Um, Matt's played in... Matt's played... What oh, did you play? Oh, more Dido's and you've had hot dance. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, I do play the lute as well. I don't actually have one at the moment, but uh, the old uh, Baroque lute, 13 course, 13 course Baroque lute. I love that kind of thing. But forget that, because what we're actually going to do is interpret it, uh, you know, a lot of people when they play Baroque music, you know, they talk about the affect and the word painting. Well, we're going to paint those words, you know, you know, imagine sort of the Jackson Pollock of word painting. Uh, nah. No, I think it's just, no, I'd say... Vodka? 
No, he I would, uses like a ton no, of paint. No, I would think like Al, a, Alma Tadema. I like, I mean, I, something very, very exotic. It, this makes me think of those sorts of, I don't know, 1890s drapey ladies holding a lute or a well, or I'll tell you a oud. If I tell you what, for anybody listening on the old, pop... it's called like in in the in the harem or something. Oh, I gotcha. And she's, you know, I know, I know this. She's like got a, my complexion. Like in a constable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, basically. Um, Basically, this uh, this instrument here is called an oud. It's an Arabic instrument. For anybody listening on the podcast, um, you can go to youtube.com forward slash Patricia Hammond songs and check it out. But uh, if you're not going to do that, I'm going to tell you briefly that it's like an Arabic lute. It doesn't have any frets on it. It's all fretless. So you can slide just like on a fretless instrument basically you can really be creative yeah that's what you like doing and so it has perfect. 11 it has 11 strings and the bottom string all the others are in pairs and the bottom string is a single string on this particular instrument and many because you can oh. retune it as a drone to fit the key that you're in. Did oh you know my that? goodness! No, I did so not. So practical, those <gasps> ancient. So practical yes. they were. What is it? Six thousand years old. That instrument, something oh, like it's that. Oh, a hard part of the the oud. It's, it's definitely one of the most ancient uh, plucked strings there are. Anyway, but we'll take it back to the old. It was uh, just wringing his hand because he just played that very, very, <laughs> very, very difficult. He made it very difficult for it's himself okay. playing just an that old tiny instrument. little. I love the old instruments. So little this, mandolin. I'll take it back to his this hand is suffering. 17th century. 17th century. Right. Well, this is when I'm laid in earth. End of Dido and Aeneas. It doesn't end well. Um, and he's, yes. Now, this version that I have, was it the mezzo-soprano? Operatic anthology celebrated arias selected from operas old old and modern composers in five volumes compiled by Kurt Adler Schirmer in the 1950s and before it a little earlier and it says that this this When I Am Laid in Earth is edited by Ernst Victor hyphen Wolf well, with two I'll, F's and so I'll we're take just take it and you can keep it you can, exactly so basically Matt is, is doing his own version to fit the oud and I think it's interesting. And all all Baroque purists should switch off their sets. I think now. they'd be they'd be happier with what you're about to do than they would be with Ernst Victor. Oh Wolf, yeah, well, it's just some I would say. stuff. Here we go.
Um, <laughs> we rehearsed it once, uh, but these are live. These are live, by the way. These are we don't, you know, go back and forth and and go. Oh no, um, so yeah. So what you what you get is what you. And get. if you want to hear in the standard formation, Maya recommend several hundred thousands versions. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, and if you so, want to hear me play the lute with Patricia, we will link a video below yes, that we did doing that. I, yes, in darkness, let me dwell. So that's the oud. Yeah, I said, oh, if you sorry. Want to hear me play the oud, sorry, I'm not listening. Yeah. I'm just we'll not listening. We'll link a song on the lute, just in case anybody cares. <laughs> I've conflated the instruments so much now. That's okay. <laughs> terrible. Right, now for something completely oh, Lord, different. Oh, okay, now, okay. As to what I just said, right? Uh, you know, um, keeping it fresh, not rehearsing it, you know, you know, rehearsing it maybe once. Well, this one, okay, this is by the same requester. This is, but this is from, this is from Suzanne. Actually, it's from it's Suzanne's. Take a lot of requests. This uh, is from Suzanne's boyfriend, yeah. John. So, um, but it's still from the same requester as the last one, which makes it quite interesting that it's, I mean, the faith you have in my versatility is remarkable. Matt's versatility is a given. I mean, I know it's it's a terrible thing to have something like that as a given and nobody appreciates it because they just go, oh, yeah, well, he's mad. He can do anything. And that that is to, you know, to reduce his contribution to life and art. And it's terrible. So, you know, I try not to do it. I do lots of other things, unfortunately. Anyway. <sighs> right. These boots were made for walking, right? Um, it's kind of for Nancy Sinatra, who famously didn't really have much of a vocal range. Um, Apparently they took about, they took an entire day of, of takes to get You Only Live Twice and then they had to splice it. And she was the first to say, I just don't have a range. Okay, here we go. Oh. He's got some nice sounds for it, this is good. Just enjoy Matt. saying you got something for me something you call love but confess you've been messing where you shouldn't have been messing and now someone else is getting all your best these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. You keep lying when you wanna be truthing. You keep losing when you wanna not bet. You keep saving when you wanna be changing. Now that's right, it's right, but you ain't been right yet. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I think it's gonna do some solo or something. Stand away. Okay. 
made for walking And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you And there's one more verse There's one more verse There's one more verse People will miss it if they don't get it We didn't rehearse this You keep playing where you shouldn't be playing you keep thinking that you'll never get burned. I just found me a brand new box of matches. And what he knows, you ain't got time to learn. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. That's it. Well done. Thank you for the request, John. Thank you to everybody it's else very for nice. their request. Please subscribe for more uh, variation beyond all, all imagination. Imagination, as far as See I'm concerned. See you next concerned. time. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.